This is the Hawaii rendition of Love, Peace, and Harmony. So welcome, Yvonne. Thank you for joining me today. I'm very excited to be here. Just got set up <coughs> and decided to chant Love, Peace, and Harmony a few minutes before I went live and immediately chanted it into the live stream coming on. Welcome, Cynthia Marie. So happy to have you join me here today. Welcome, Carrie. Wonderful to see you as well. Thank you for your permission to, uh, to use your quote on my, uh, my website. Welcome, Petra Marie Lennon. Very good to see you here as well. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome, Amy. Thank you for joining. So I'm very grateful for all of you. Welcome, Bart. Happy to see you joining. Hopefully not keeping you too, too much late past your bedtime. <clears throat> so today will be another exciting day. We have opportunities to do more soul readings today for any aspect of your life that you're looking to get a little additional guidance in. And for those of, uh, that are watching this uh, video in recorded time at some point down the road, we'll be watching it for the first time, <clears throat> then I'd like to give them a little understanding of the, the, uh, in the beginning of what is a soul reading. And you can also go to my website at asoulhealer.com um, and under the category of soul reading there's actually a short video. But the, the basic version of it is that in the soul world everything exists. And everything has a soul, not just humans. But all specks of energy and all specks of matter uh, have God in them, and therefore they have a soul. And that every soul's purpose is to serve. Every soul's purpose is to elevate itself to return back to the heart of the divine. And in this process of returning back to the heart of the divine, each soul has experiences. These experiences are recorded in the annals and the halls of heaven, in the records of heaven. In the human experience, <clears throat> there's what's called the Akashic Records. And so when we have financial blessings or financial difficulties, when we have uh, health relationships, uh, excuse me, health problems or relationship problems, then all of these have a source or an origination. Now sometimes that source or origination actually starts here in this life experience. It's not something that's happened in the past. It just it happened this time around from a series of conditions and circumstances that came together. And most likely when those happen, it's to offer us an opportunity to, um, to learn. Uh, sometimes our soul brings to us something that we on the surface might call not good. And yet um, maybe a lesson that we are to learn from that is patience or tolerance or a trust. And so oftentimes things that happen that we label as not good uh, have an origination that is not karmic. And so that's important also. So soul readings apply to all of these. So thank you, uh, Carrie, for your comment. And thank you, Kristen, for joining. Thank you, Christina, darling. I'm sure you're with your family there as well. Uh, and then, yeah, Bart rejoined. Apparently we have a disconnect there, but he's back in. So great to see you all. So go ahead at this time uh, and consider what questions you'd like to ask. I'm going to call forth all of the holy beings so that we can all be aligned at the greatest heart-to-heart, uh, -heart, soul-to-soul level so that the information that I offer is as pure as possible. You're welcome to join me in this connection. Dear beloved divine, dear Tao, dear source, dear Master Shah, my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah's original soul, we love you, honor you, appreciate you, and I bow down to you. I ask for you to please come to sit in my Mingmen acupuncture point to help me to align fully to divine down source and to you. 
to help me to be the best servant and messenger that I can be. Please bless me to clear my spiritual channels as appropriate so that when I offer a message, it is of the purest and highest uh, information that is free of, of mind and free of um, anything that is not accurate for those souls that are asking. I ask all my downloads treasures to please turn on at this time. And I ask my heavens teams to please assist in whatever way is appropriate. I ask that all of the souls in the line, all of those that will watch us in the future, uh, to please open your heart and soul fully to receive the value. Because when a message is given to one, very often the message is meant for more than one. And some that ask the question, others are afraid to ask. I deeply apologize to all those now who will join me and all those who will join in the future if in this or any lifetime I have offered wrong information. If I have harmed you physically, emotionally, mentally or spiritually, if I have harmed your soul journey because of offering wrong information, wrong readings, wrong third eye readings or in any way have brought harm or suffering to you, your family or your loved ones, I apologize and I bow to you and I sincerely ask for your forgiveness. It is my greatest intention to offer this information with the highest purity. And if you have brought harm or suffering to me for any reason whatsoever, I offer you my unconditional forgiveness. You are completely and unconditionally forgiven and I release you of any karmic debt you have to me or my ancestors. I love you and I'm so honored to serve you. I will now chant love, peace and harmony for a minute to connect our hearts and souls together. You are welcome to join me. Lula lula li, lula lula la li, lula lula li lula, lula li lula, lula li lula. Oh I was in her ling, oh I tried and lay. Long ling rung her mushes hung, song I ping on her she, song I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity, join her hearts and souls. Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Heaven is definitely here. My nose has been itching ever since I've asked them to be present. So again, welcome to everyone. Welcome, Terry McGill, thank you for joining. Um, Welcome, Krista. Great to see you here. <clears throat> Carrie, I'll come to your question in a moment. Welcome, Lynette. Great to have you here. On, and welcome, Trevor Master Allen. Wonderful to have you here, Master Trevor Allen. And Yvonne has posed a question. So for all those that, that came in a little late, today is an open forum for soul readings. Uh, so any subject you desire, it is open. Please be uh, specific, meaning, will I get a job? Yes. Will I get a job in this industry, doing this job, doing what I'd like to do? The more specific your question, the more specific the answer. I can very often offer very deep and valuable information to help you attain that job or that relationship or anything else that you're requesting if I get more specific information. So I leave that to you. General questions get general answers. Specific questions get specific answers. Okay? So let me go ahead and back up here a second and we'll, we'll answer um, Carrie's question. Who will be my next partner and what will he be like? <clears throat> okay. Dear the soul of Carrie, Carrie's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints, the soul of Carrie's most aligned future partner that would align with her uh, most probably coming forward. The characteristics of this individual, any additional information specific to Carrie and this partner, and what, um, what would be attractive and how will she know that this is the one for her at this time. Any additional information that is most pertinent 
for a period to know at this time, please all come forth, offer any information that is necessary uh, and of value for Carrie to hear at this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? First thing I see, Carrie, is 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 that he's a he's a bit on the rugged side. Um, it's a teddy bear underneath, but not so much on the surface. Loves his mom. Has a faith in Christ, but is not too dogmatic. Uh, his children are uh, more on the grown-up side. I, 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 I'm not getting that they're living with him, that is more like a part-time dad. Good, solid job. Yay. And I'm hearing that it'll, that you'll be kind of out and about. Um, you won't, it, it, it'll be a, a, um, either an introduction or um, you'll be out and about uh, either with a friend at, at, at an, an event or something of that nature. Somewhere between three and six months And that what's 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 waiting? What's it's waiting for is for you to become more solid in your foundation, uh, in all aspects, more security financially, more security in your mindsets, attitudes. You you're disallowing it from coming right now because you're not solid enough in yourself. So keep working on that, and that's when he'll arrive. How? Hopefully that assists you. Thank you for the question. Okay, so I'm scrolling up here. And Yvonne says, I would like to ask my Heavens team to assist me on the online high tech for my empowerment network business. Why am I always and so drawn to the high tech even, even though I am in baby steps? <clears throat> okay. To the soul of Yvonne, the soul of this question regarding her draw to this, uh, any uh, underlying aspects of why this is exciting to her even though she is new at it uh, and any information from her heavens team or her soul that can assist her with this please uh, come forth please choose a spokesperson borrow my mouth thank you thank you thank you how this is the soul of your tech team in heaven we have brought forth this impulse to you so that you can assist Master Shah's mission. You have a quick mind and an ability to learn. You have an innate desire to serve and those that you desire to serve do not have the same intelligence, innate desire or time to accomplish what you do. Our request of you is to take some of the proceeds from your service from this business and invest in your communication, your English communication skills so that the prowess you are able to show and the technical side is matched by the correct English expression. It is important that if the masters or others are to be greatly assisted by your service that the way things are stated are within the boundaries 
of well-aligned English. So please follow through on that when the finances allow and your services will be greatly rewarded by heaven. This is your Heaven's Tech team. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, you're very blessed. You have a Heaven's Tech team. Congratulations on that reading. Okay, and, and welcome Anne Marie, welcome Dove, welcome Pat JD. Okay, and Lynette has asked, she would like to know, she would like to know when or if she will find a soulmate. Okay? To the soul of Lynette, Lynette's Heavens, Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints. The soul of this question, when and if she will find a soulmate. Any additional information at this time for Lynette? Could you please come forth at this time, offer her whatever guidance, wisdom, and insights to accomplish this, to um, align her soul and her soulmate's soul. Could you please um, bring forth any information that can assist her at this time? How this is Lynette's Heaven's team for our beloved daughter. We are actually lining up a couple of possibilities for you. There are several pieces missing and our ideal for you is one that aligns to your highest self. Each of your potential mates are currently not in alignment energetically with you and you are not in alignment energetically with them. You uh, give too much of your heart to another and you drain yourself when you accomplish when you do this this is an area of learning you have not conquered yet it is important for you and all those that are listening to this to align your heart and soul to the divine's heart and soul first to fulfill every aspect of your need for love from this well spring this endless and unconditional source. It is only then when any soul, including you, our dear Lynette, can enter a relationship in the highest, best, and healthiest way. And in doing so, you will not drain yourself, and in doing so, you will serve the other soul, your potential soulmate, much better. You want to attract someone that is equally balanced in this area, not one that needs your fulfillment and you need theirs. So we suggest that you move more towards this and as such your soul and their soul will align with greater speed. There is potential for a beautiful relationship if you can become much more aligned in this suggested way. This is your Heaven's team. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you, Lynette, for that question. Hopefully the answer has served you well. So Terry Miguel asks, Dear Master Paul, what is the root blockage of my not being able to choose a niche to offer a soul healing service? <clears throat> okay. To the soul of Terry Miguel, Terry's Heaven's teams the soul of Master Shah and this question of why he is unable to isolate a niche to serve with the aspect of soul, soul healing and the business that he wishes to bring to the forefront. <clears throat> Could you all please come at this time, offer Terry the necessary needed guidance and wisdom to accomplish this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? 
This is Terry's soul. I love you. I am beyond grateful for your service for our journey. I am beyond grateful for your steadfast alignment to Master Shah. I am bowing down to this Master now. I am so grateful that you have asked this question because I know the answer. For you, Terry, it is to serve those that have mind blockages, to specifically work with those that are busy in their mind. Find a skill set that has assisted you that you can share with others. There are many that wish to quiet their mind to find the divine. And in this, you will serve many. The reason you have been unable to isolate is because of your busy mind. And the reason I am suggesting this is because in the teaching of it, you and I will have far superior connection, value, and service to ourselves and to others. This is both the answer to your question and the solution to your query. I am honored to offer you this guidance. This is your soul. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, wow. Your soul is so beautiful, Terry. Uh, he just, you know, when he was talking to you, offering his gratitude, I just, my heart was really open. I started to cry a bit. Just a beautiful soul. Thank you for that opportunity to connect with him. So Dove says, Aloha, Master Paul. Aloha, everyone. Carrie replies with, Thank you, Master Paul. You're so welcome, Carrie. And Kayla Darling is rejoined. Amy says, will I receive financial blessings before the Kuan Yin lineage retreat? Okay. <clears throat> Dear the soul of Amy Manago, Amy's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints. Dear beloved Guan Yin. Dear the soul of the Dabe Zhou, uh, Buddhas. The soul of this question. Uh, Dear Master Shah, dear the soul of this question. Uh, the financial blessings for Amy prior to the Guan Yin retreat. The soul of if she is to receive, uh, what and when, if she is creating an environment or conditions in which it is not happening, then why? Uh, and what additional wisdom, teachings, and guidance can be offered at this time so that Amy has a calm heart and a calm mind around this subject, regardless of the answer? Please all come forth, offer whatever is most pertinent and of value for Amy to hear. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, yeah, yeah, he, oh, yeah, he, oh. How? This is Master Shah. My dear Amy, I love you. I honor you and I appreciate you. I want for you to hear these words again. The most important thing in your spiritual journey is to align your heart and soul to my heart and soul. The Guanyin Lineage Retreat is the highest way to move in that direction. It is a lineage underneath my lineage. Even if you earned no more money from now until forever, it would be the wisest choice you could make. 
This is not to say I am not aware of the difficult financial conditions for you and many others who wish to come. But what I want you to know is that when you trust, when you come, when you take that step, you will be rewarded both on earth and in heaven forever. The lives that you will be able to save, the lives that you will be able to touch, will bring so much virtue to your virtue bank that you could not possibly spend it all in 100 lifetimes. Do not attach to when the blessings come. Know that they have already been placed in your bank. I have said again and again to you and all those who are struggling to come, serve. Go out and serve. The money will be released. Are you serving others with your divine healing hands? Are you asking for financial blessings in return for that service? Or are you still in a place of fear of being judged? Heaven will not release your funds until you are doing as asked. How can you be of service with your Guan Yin a thousand hands and thousand eyes if you are not even willing to offer the service with the power that you have and receive financial blessings as a result? Do what I have asked, the blessings will come. But come regardless to my retreat. Your life forever will be changed. This is your spiritual father, Master Shah. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Master Shah, so much for borrowing my mouth uh, for that wisdom. And I will apply that wisdom to myself as well. <laughs> okay. So uh, Bart asks, what is the most important issue for me to forgive? Okay. To the soul of Bart, this question of what is the most important issue for Bart to forgive at this time? Uh, please come forth. Dear the soul of Bart's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, please be present. Dear uh, Yin Wan Ye, could you please open Bart's Akashic Records at this time? Please very specifically offer me this information for Bart that he can transform the most relevant block in his life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, you. Yeah, hey, uh, hey, uh, you. Hey, uh, yeah, hey, uh, you. This is Yen Wan Ye. For our dear Bart, fear is the original source of almost all of his suffering. Therefore, forgiveness for this and all lifetimes that he has brought about this to all souls cannot be done enough. Any time you have this experience for any specific condition, catch that fear thought in the moment. Reverse the polarity, dear all souls, in this and all lifetimes that I and my ancestors have brought fear to, especially those that I have brought fear to around this subject matter. I deeply, deeply and sincerely apologize. In this way, in the capturing of all the areas in which the fear shows up in your life, you can address each one with the greatest directness and do the deepest forgiveness for all those that you have brought a similar experience to. This is my message, heaven's message to you today. You are very blessed to receive this guidance. Be sure to use the tools that the Master has given you to assist with additional forgiveness 
additional love, light, forgiveness, and compassion, use the calligraphies, use the tools as they bring forth greater frequency and the greater forgiveness for each time you do this practice. You are very blessed. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Yen Wan Ye. Thank you, Heaven, for that very insightful message. Uh, I'm sure we can apply it to all of us when we have our fears. <clears throat> and welcome, Loveness. Welcome, Crystal. Thank you for joining. Uh, Cynthia Marie has asked, I would like a reading about my makeup events I have been doing. Uh, is there a blockage on my part that prevents others from partaking in these events? Would like guidance on what I can do to bring people to my makeup events. Any insights would be greatly appreciated. Great, I really appreciate the clarity of the question, Cynthia Marie. We'll be able to offer a lot more guidance from heaven. Hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, oh. Did the soul of Cynthia Marie, the soul of this question, the soul of her business, the soul of the specific information on uh, attracting people to her makeup events, the soul of any um, guidance, wisdom, and insights, could you all please be present? Did the soul of my marketing teams that have been assigned to me, please come at this time, please offer any of your guidance, wisdom, and insights for our beloved Crystal that can assist her with her marketing events as well specific to this question and any additional information as appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is Master Paul's marketing teams. We are honored to offer additional guidance and insights. For you, our dear Crystal, you must learn what is soul marketing? Soul marketing, very simply, is soul communication with the souls of all those potential souls that could benefit from what you have to offer. And by calling forth all those souls to you in advance, many times, of your event, by reading line by line what they can expect to experience and have at the event including your offerings your values your service the time date and location how they would benefit and how you would benefit as well as when you benefit how you will serve humanity with a portion of your proceeds when you have this conversation remember to apologize to all of these potential souls for this in any lifetime that you have brought harm or suffering to them in any way, including misleading them in uh, information associated with what you do or in business and finances. Also offer your unconditional forgiveness. If it is in the field of beauty, ask for forgiveness for bringing harm or suffering to their uh, ability to be beautiful or feminine etc ask for forgiveness offer forgiveness repeat this process the more you do it the better the results this will gather many more souls to your events if you are consistent this piece of information will allow the other things that you have placed out there to be seen it is the gathering of the souls in this manner and the uh, turning on their light to see your advertisements that have been placed in various areas, to see the different ways you have put yourself out there to be known. Souls will talk about you to others when before they would have not. This, the physical world requires your advertising in whatever way you're doing it. The soul world requires this action so that they can align. This is the highest wisdom we can offer you at this time. We are honored to offer you this information. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you for that question, uh, Cynthia Marie. And I'm confident that the answer will assist you a lot. Probably many others as well. So Loveness asks, uh, Hello, Master Paul. I hope I don't get difficulties again in this connection. I 
what messages can I have today from my romantic soulmate in this lifetime if I do have one? Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Dear the soul of loveness, loveness uh, soulmate, any messages from loveness soulmate at this time? If there's any messages, please come forth and offer them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not getting a message from him as much as a message that this soul radiates a very high frequency and this soul's frequency for you is like a pole that runs through your being that keeps you on target that keeps you from waffling and to be grateful for this consistently and to stay the course there's really not much more information to stay the course um, you know if your soulmate is with you uh, or if he's not with you these apply that's what's what I'm getting for now ha thank you thank you thank you for that question loveness so Kayla darling says dear master Paul can you offer guidance on the current blockages I'm experiencing connecting to my niche group I've received the guidance to connect with teen mothers and babies okay <clears throat> just all of Kayla darling's uh, request her heavens teams guides angels and saints this niche market uh, any additional alignment to this niche market and and how she can better serve this community align to this community attract this community if this is her ideal niche market and any additional information that can assist her could you all please be present to the soul of master Shah? could you please offer additional guidance as appropriate if it is appropriate thank you thank you thank you hey uh, hey uh, hey uh, hey oh, hey uh, hey oh. Hey, uh, hey, you. For our dear Kayla, there are two ingredients that are missing. They are related to confidence. It is necessary for you to gain this in the form of your confidence to communicate what you know given your youth and your ability to express what you know in the various aged group that you would be presenting in because of the lack of confidence and comfortable skill set in the presentation aspects you have not energetically aligned yourself to attract those that are needed to your niche group it is recommended that you bullet point out the subject matter that you wish to speak of write it out if necessary and then bullet point it out and speak to a camera then after you feel more comfortable go out to a existing group maybe not mothers and children's group maybe it is a rotary club group something of that nature uh, toastmasters where people practice talking to the public hone your skills a bit more don't be in too big of a hurry to bring this to the children and mothers yet 
that will start naturally to form as you strengthen the skill set and gain confidence in how and what to express and how you can serve those. Gather around you mothers of your age group that may or may not resonate with this teaching and communicate with them. Field their questions. In this way you will learn the best way to field their questions, the best way to present Master Shah's information to a neophyte in this awareness. The combination of this will make you a very powerful and well-respected speaker, one that people listen to and they will gather other mothers and children. This is the steps. Give yourselves three to four months before going out to the larger group and offering you this wisdom. This is your Heaven's Team. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you Kayla Darling for that question. I think you're in the right niche group. That's just additional information that's needed. And Terry McGill says, Thank you, Master Paul. I'm very grateful for your connecting to my soul and sharing this answer. You're very welcome. You are also equally welcome, uh, Amy. Thank you. Uh, and then Pat J.D. asks, Master Paul, for your information. Uh, thank you, Master Paul, for your information reading. You're very welcome, Pat. Crystal comments. Wow, such a beautiful message from Master Shah. Thank you, Master Paul, for sharing us that message. Yes, I will be able to apply this wisdom as well. Great. Good job. Kathy Sheba joined. Welcome, Kathy. Great to see you. Kristen asks, sorry, my phone is about done. Blessings to all. So goodbye, Kristen. We'll see you soon. Tatiana, hi, Master Paul, Master Trevor, and Master Terry. Nice to see you all. And Tatiana, I wish to apologize to you for yesterday. Um, I, uh, I felt uh, very um, disappointed with some of the sharing. It was... Um, not thoughtful and considerate uh, the way some of it was shared uh, and, I, and I apologize in a public arena it should have been stated differently or not stated at all so please forgive me um, so Tatiana what would be <coughs> what would help me to have a more harmonious relationship with her husband okay To the soul of Tatiana, think of your husband right now, Tatiana, think of his name, think of him. To the soul of Tatiana's husband, please come. To the soul of Tatiana's relationship with her husband, please come. Uh, to the soul of this question about having more harmony with this relationship with her husband, uh, the highest and best wisdom and information that can be offered at this time for Tatiana that can assist with this communication. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is your soul, Tatiana. Ah, uh, dear Tatiana, you are so blessed to have your mate. His patience is endless. You are so blessed that you can go on and on with him about the same subject. And he shows you limitless patience. At the same time, this can create problems. Because you must recognize that he has... He has shared what he can about helping you to resolve the areas in your life that you are suffering in. And he is a bit aghast and a bit bewildered and um, left, left with a bit of exhaustion in the ability to assist you to move through and past this blockage area or these blockage areas in your life. You must remember dear Tatiana that speaking about these things again and again do not cause them to go away and what you are trying to do is release some of the uncomfortableness and the suffering that you are in a constant state with and you are looking for some form of relief by sharing it and I honor and appreciate that but you must also recognize that 
The sharing of it only brings you a temporary relief and could cause additional suffering to those that you share with, especially if you repeat again and again. So my encouragement to you, my dear one, is to do more self-validation. Do more honoring of self. Honor more your feelings and needs. What am I truly feeling right now? Open Google and type in the words list of needs in the English language and find there are over 100 that better align than angry. Find list of emotions. What is my real emotion right now? There are many more than you would think. This is self-validation. I am really feeling this emotion. I am really wanting this need. If I had this need, it would fulfill me. This is what you are looking for when you complain, whine, or basically share with others. We all do it. It is human nature. But we must respect others around us don't have the skill set to help us comprehend what we are feeling and needing. We must learn to do it for ourselves, and because we have a very limited vocabulary of feelings and needs, usually five or six feelings, five or six needs in our vocabulary, when there are literally a hundred of each, we are unable to validate to ourselves what we are really feeling and needing. My encouragement to you, dear, is to be nice to others in this way and love and honor yourself by getting more clarity on these. When you do, you can forgive yourself. You can love yourself. You can ask the treasures made available to you to transform, to have more of what you're wanting and needing. And you will then allow the others around you to not be impressed upon by your current emotional blockages. I love you dearly and hope you take this advice. This is your soul. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you, Tatiana, for that question. And hopefully that guidance assists you and other people on the line. Okay. So Pat JD, uh, Master Paul, how can I purify my words, thoughts, actions, and behaviors on a daily basis? And this might be the, the last or next to last question. It depends on how fast the answer comes how long the answer is. So, um, uh, Master Paul, how can I purify my words, thoughts, and actions and behavior on a daily basis? To the soul of Pat, Pat's uh, question on the best way to stay in alignment and to purify with the, in these areas that she's requested with the least amount of effort and the greatest amount of results. Could you please come forth? Dear Master Shah, I ask you to please borrow my mouth and offer Pat the answer to this question. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. My dear Pat, as your spiritual father, I will answer this question directly. Others who watch this video may think that this information that I answer you directly with is questionable. But at some point in time, they will come to understand of my service to you, to humanity. The answer, my beloved daughter, is to keep your mind in your Zhong, your Mingmen area, to chant my name in all time. It is this answer, this solution, that literally dissolves all blockages. Regardless of what shows up in your life, you must catch it before it can be transformed. If you are staying in this place of thought, word, and action, in all of your thoughts, words, and actions, then you, in essence, are self-clearing your karma in the fastest way possible and when karma does arise to the surface it can be transformed by staying in this place 
This is the one sentence secret for you and all humanity. And I hope that you are the leader of this wisdom for others. This is the soul of Master Shah. Ha, ha, ha. I will bow my head many times to this beloved soul because I know of the truth of this answer. So thank you for that question, Pat. Hopefully others are able to receive value from it as well. Welcome, Stephanie. Welcome, Kule. Welcome, Kubair. Okay. Cynthia Marie says, you weren't joking about being more specific about your question then. They will give you more thorough answers. Thank you, Master Paul and the marketing team. You are very welcome, Cynthia Marie. Kayla Darling, thank you, Master Paul. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you for my Heavens team. I'm so very happy to have had this guidance. I felt like I was moving way too slow. I'm very grateful. Yes, you're very welcome, Kayla. Please keep me posted on your success in this arena. I'd love to hear about it. And Tatiana says, Master Paul, I do not know uh, what stated. I lost connection and do not hear the readings. No problem. God bless you. Oh, you are very blessed, Tatiana. Please go back and listen. Okay. <coughs> uh, uh Let me see if I have time to read any more. Okay. Kuale. This will be the last, uh, last one and then, um, then I will uh, offer everyone a blessing and call it a day. So Kuala says, Dear Master Paul, could I receive soulmate reading please for possibly if I am doing the right thing with being with my current spouse? Uh, I sometimes feel confused and hesitant. Any guidance is greatly appreciated. The soul of Kuala, Kuala's Heaven's Teens. The soul of Kuala, think of this uh, person that you're with uh, and, and mention his name to heaven. The soul of this current relationship that Kuala is with. Uh, if he is the soulmate, if he's not, etc. What I can and cannot share at this time with Kuale, please be present. Any uh, most appropriate and pertinent wisdom regarding this question, including uh, she sometimes feels confused and hesitant in any guidance along those lines. How? This is your soul, Kuala. She's gorgeous. She's like, she's like this 300 foot tall hula dancer. Ah, uh, dear Kuala, you wear your heart on your sleeve, just like me. Because in each moment, you live in love. You are confused. You are like a very big boat and a very little lake in which you sway with very little water underneath you to sway in. This is because you do not have enough foundation, dear one. When you take time to build your foundation, the great love and openness of your heart will not sway you so much. When you take time to build a strong foundation energy, you will receive with clarity my messages to you about who and how you are to proceed in any of your relationships. When you take time to build your foundation, you will align to your spiritual father and heaven's clarity, my clarity. Your soulmate will be very clear to you with this balance. Take more time every day to boost your foundation. Be specific. Use the calligraphy. Hey, hong, hong, ha. Every day. Give it at least 15 minutes. And when you find yourself flickering about and you are not in a place where you can give it that 15 minutes, call forth the soul of the countless blessings in this calligraphy to your jong and silently chant as you are going about your responsibilities. These saints will serve you. Turn on my hula soul. Ask me to dance in your jong and I will shake away the blockages 
I am so grateful that you have asked this question as I have deeply wanted you to not be so harmed by your great and sway-filled heart. Please heed this, these suggestions as you and I can both be of far greater service to our future soul journey and aligning to our mate when you do so. This is your soul. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Such a beautiful soul. Thank you for the opportunity to receive her and speak that, uh, that blessing for you, Kuale. Okay, so Pat says, Dearest Tatiana, you will have uh, access to the live stream. And Nestor James has joined. Welcome, Nestor. Welcome, Allison. Uh, for all those who joined late, this is automatically recorded. You're welcome to go back and watch it again. And please, all of you, please share. Um, Pat says, uh, my greatest gratitude is Master Paul. Thank you, Master Paul, for the guidance. Yvonne says, thank you, Master Shah, Master Paul, and all is here. Especially thank you for my Heaven's Tech support team. Yay. She feels so happy and comforted to know that they are behind me and support helping me. So I'm so grateful for all of you for coming. Today is Friday. Today is a day to enjoy ourselves for the remainder of the weekend. Remember, move forward in enjoy. Move forward in enjoy in joy move forward in joy meant right that was the message that came through the other day and that was from the divine in how to stay in the spiritual world and the physical world don't take things so seriously my good friend Nestor that just showed up here he is one of the most external expressions of joy and gratitude that I know go to his Facebook page all you will see is comment after comment after comment of being so grateful for the incredible joy that this life brings. Because of that, he has a beautiful, joy-filled life. Even in the stressful moments, he is able to see the positive in it. So remember this, because this is how we can operate in the physical world and the spiritual world. We must stay forward in enjoyment. I love you all so much. I will offer you all a blessing now. Make a request. I will prepare the blessing. This will be a very big blessing. One request only. You may also call forth three loved ones to this blessing. Ten more seconds. If you don't know what you want for those individuals, say as appropriate. <coughs> Dearly soul, soul song, love, peace, and harmony in Mother Earth's Jindan, in my love, peace, harmony, Jindan, in all of these souls called forth, all the holy beings that are present, please turn on. We invite you to please chant, offer the greatest love along with the treasure that I have asked to offer this blessing. Blessing begin. I love my heart and soul I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Eloha Maya. Eloha Kako. This blessing may have been short, but trust me, if you knew the soul that I asked to offer the blessing, you all received massive, massive, massive blessings with this request. All of those that you called forth have received huge blessings. 
all of those things that you asked for today have received huge blessings. My only request in return, spread this. We only have 14 to 20 people today. That's not enough. How can I serve thousands? I need you to be my messengers. Please tell others, bring them. Allow me to serve them. Allow me to serve them in private conversation, soul readings. Allow me to serve them to remove their blockages if they don't know how. Allow me to serve you. Continue to return. I will see you on Monday, same time, same place. I love you all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.